Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how I press in a shirt tail hem on a knit garment. Shirt tail meaning that it's a kind of level in the front and the back and then it comes up a little bit on the sides. It's a lot about the fingers and the pressing, so let's take a look at how I do it. So I've already pressed in this one side and then we'll keep going. I've got an inch hem. The bigger the hem, the harder it gets. So um, I recommend that you don't get too big. If you're having a lot of trouble, then I would go down to a smaller hem. So you're gonna see me use my fingers a lot, kind of a padding motion. Then I'm gonna steam from above and then put the iron down. And we're gonna do this across this flat We'll do one more in here, and then I'll show you what I do. So I'm not pulling this straight. So you can see there's a little bit of ease. I don't want to pull this here. What I think about is right here, I want to fold it directly up, perpendicular to the hem, right in there. If you start pulling it to help you out with the ease in the cut edge of the hem, which you can see I've finished with a serger, three thread, narrow thread serger. You're gonna compound and it's gonna get harder and harder to do as you go across. So now you can see I've got some ease there and I'm gonna pat it down with my fingers. And you can do this on lots and lots of different kinds of knits. Um, this happens to be a jersey. So as I come up into this area where the side seam is, I'm going to skip over and go to the side seam, I'm measuring that in, put my hem pin in to hold it, and I'm going to give just this one little area a press like that. Now I've referred to this as bracketing my work. So now I'm gonna work on this interim. So I'm gonna bracket again. I'm gonna go about halfway between those. And I'm gonna put a pin in and do the little light steaming. So here, I'm gonna ease this hem allowance in, the cut edge of the hem that's been serge finished. Just do some little pats. Some sections are gonna be more difficult than others. And the steam actually shrinks the fabric in. So here I'm going to have to work a little bit harder in here. And I'm still at my one inch. And get a pin in here. I think actually I'm going to put that pin in vertically for the time being. And now this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. But you can see how much I'm padding and shrinking. I'm actually going to take this out and see if I can ease some of this coming back this direction. Literally, I'm just padding it. So now I'm gonna get steam to help me out. And as I get it shrinking in, that's when I'm gonna give it a little bit more pressure with the iron. Now I've got that section pretty well controlled. And now I've got this little section. I'm gonna take this temporary pin out. And again, lots of padding. My fingers have now done what they can do. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get started with the steam. A little bit more pressure. I've got a little tiny fold right in here. Sometimes I can get it out, sometimes I will have a little itty bitty one, but um, you can see right in here that rippling in this part of the fabric, that's because I've shrunk this edge where it's surged. And that's what I want to do, I want to shrink it. I don't want to gather it. So now when I come down into this section, I'm gonna come a little bit further away. I don't wanna just keep working along because for me, it never works that way. Meaning if I just kept going 
here, um, I would tend to uh, lose, lose the game and it would just start to shift. And so now I'm gonna come about halfway in and put a pin in. And now we're gonna do the same process. Your curve coming up to the side seam and curve going away from the side seam. This is usually the hardest section to um, ease in because that's where you've got the most differential between the length of the cut edge of the hem and the fold. But you can see that's eased in really well. And now I'll come down to this section. Just lots of movement with my fingers, easing it in. I don't want to get a fold there, so I'm gonna use my steam, see if the steam helps me out, and it sure did. Get a pin in there. I'd pinned, steamed and pinned the other side seam area so we're almost finished with this so now i'm going to come back in between you can see how often i do this bracketing i've got a little fold here i want to control so i'm going to take that pin out and just get it eased i eased it this direction ever so slightly shrinking those fabric fibers up. Now we've got this one last little section to do. Get my full seam allowance or hem allowance there. And we've got some shrinking to do. And some right in here. Don't be in a rush. When I'm in a rush, it never works. You just take your time. And there, that's all shrunk in now. So that's how you do it. Then I would go to the machine and sew it. If I need more pins, I can certainly put more pins in. And as you sew, you'll have to do a little of easing with your fingers. Remember, it's that padding down. If this has been helpful to you, I'll be doing more videos, so please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.